The curse of being a user experience consultant is being aware of bad experiences everywhere. When you specialize in not-for-profits, as I do, this spider sense goes into overdrive when you're interacting with a charity. Yesterday, we as a family decided to go and visit a National Trust property called Kingston Lacey. I'm a huge fan of the National Trust. I worked with them years ago to build one of their earliest websites and ever since I've been in awe of the amazing conservation work they do. My wife and son have been members of the National Trust for a while, but I was not. I didn't get to visit properties enough to make it worthwhile. But yesterday, on the spur of the moment, we decided to add me to the membership. It was a busy summer's day, but there was a lot of staff on and so somebody could help us straight away. I expected the process to take a minute or so just to add my name to the membership and then to pay the difference. Instead, the experience was not a good one. The member of staff had to fill in a long form asking for information that we knew damn well they already had. There was also confusion over which form they were supposed to complete and so she had to complete the whole of the form by hand. No doubt this form was then sent to head office and somebody had to rekey that information into a CRM somewhere. Once she finally finished filling in the form, she informed us that she would have to send it off to head office who would then contact us. They would tell us how much extra money we had to pay because she couldn't work it out here because we were part way through a year. She also had to send off our membership card so they could then send us a new one. In the meantime, we had to use a temporary receipt because the new card might take up to six weeks to arrive. After all, she said, the summer is their busiest time of the year. So let's just recap on that experience for a moment. We asked to upgrade our membership. She had a discussion with her boss about which form she had to fill in. She completed the form by hand, asking us to repeat our information, including things like our postcode, email address, telephone number, son's name, and so on. She issued us with a receipt, and she then posted the form to head office. Somebody at head office had to rekey our information into their CRM and look up a quote for us. That person would then contact us and inform us we had to pay and how much that new quote was. And then head office would process our payment through a direct debit and issue us a new card that would arrive about six weeks later. All the time she was filling in this form by hand, I was looking at the laptop sitting on her desk right next to her. And I couldn't help thinking how much easier the whole process would be if she could just do it online. So let's reimagine that process for a moment. We asked to upgrade our membership. She asked for our membership number and she looked it up on her computer. She entered the new details without asking us to repeat data that we'd already provided. After um, all, she could see all of that data about us on the screen. She then quotes us a price and takes payment. The system confirms the new membership and she can then print us a new card. Even this is not as streamlined as it could be, but further investment would cost more. This more simplified process is a huge step forward and would need only really limited investment. This would have been such a better experience for me, but it would have also been better experience for those waiting in line behind me. Not only that, but it would have also saved the National Trust time and money. It would have quickly brought a return on investment required for building the new system. Not every National Trust property has an internet-enabled laptop on hand, but it would only take a mobile phone if the system was well designed. My point is that many organisations have blinkered when it comes to digital and user experience. They see it only as for, for the marketing benefits it can provide, not for the greater capability. They're not using digital to its full potential. The potential to improve the entire user experience and not just the initial contact. 